welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys so much. I took a small little break from YouTube unintentionally. So I am ready to get back into filming. And you guys wanted to know what I use on my hair, like what hair products I use, what I use to repair my hair as well. Because as you guys know, or some of you guys may not know if you're new to my channel, I actually went through like a traumatic hair salon experience. And I feel like that's really dramatic, but I did and my hair went from like being this long to being this short because it was so damaged over the course of like two years almost two and a half years now I have managed to repair it let it grow out and now that I've learned from that hair experience um, I am now able to like take care of my hair a lot better and I'll show you guys the products that I use the techniques that I use a little bit more in depth let's get into my hair care routine and there are three major things that I think contribute to having shiny healthy voluminous hair I don't know about your hair type but my hair type it does get oily um, it gets oily about every other day and I have noticed that because I made these three changes it doesn't get as oily and I don't have to wash it every other day. I actually shower every single day full body shower, but I actually use a shower cap and I wash my hair twice a week. And in between those hair washes, I use this guy right here. And this is unlike any other shower cap I've ever owned. I have owned multiple because I just cannot stand styling my hair. Um, and so I always like to use a shower cap. And this one right here is from the brand shower cap Sh shower cap i think that's the brand i'm not sure i've had this for over a year i love it this was actually sent to me they have no idea that i'm doing this video because they sent it to me a year ago um but i just got it out of its package i started using it and it just stays really well on my head like it does have some extra space in the back here so that you can put a bun in securely and it's not too tight on your head so that way you don't have to uh worry about it slipping out on the back it like just really really holds in your hair and then it does have like the silicone band which you can put and press it like against your scalp so that way um when you're taking a shower water is not going to get on your hair it's almost like a swimming cap um and it's just like in really really great condition like i said i use this just about every single day and i like the design on it it's really hard to tell because it's all black but it looks like a turban um and it looks actually quite nice it doesn't look like like the typical grandmother like shower caps that you have in your shower like this one actually does look nice and it holds your hair in place so you don't have to worry about it getting wet i already mentioned that but i just like think that's the most important thing so you can still wash your ears and your neck and everything really well and not have to worry the second thing that i do recommend and this is in no particular order of how important it is but i recommend taking vitamins a multivitamin um you can take like hair skin and nail vitamins biotin just like some type of vitamin that really um, helps to nourish your body from within because that is how your hair is made from within and so any kind of vitamin just like I used to take like women's one a day vitamin I also have taken uh, nature's bounty hair skin and nails vitamins um, just a multivitamin I've also taken the vitamins from uh, care of which was a subscription service I would recommend to find a vitamin that's right for you um, because that's really going to help you out and the third thing that I highly highly recommend is to get yourself a satin or silk pillowcase and that does wonders I actually discovered that by accident I wanted a pillowcase that was going to help keep my pillow cool at night because sometimes I couldn't sleep because I was so hot and so I looked up like silk or satin pillowcases and I came across like all of these benefits that are really great for like your face and your skin and like same thing and like your hair and it said so many different things so I was like mm, is that really true I don't know and then after I have actually used silk pillowcases um, for months I have noticed a dramatic difference in my hair in my skin um, I have noticed that my hair doesn't get as oily because I'm not getting hot at night it's not producing like those extra oils that are going to like penetrate into your hair and make it look greasy um, it's actually going to keep your head cool so it's not going to produce as much oil and then also it's not going to tug on your hair so that way your hair isn't falling out as much um, and because it is satin it doesn't absorb as much bacteria um, that you normally would give out on a day-to-day -day basis it doesn't like absorb it as cotton does um, so you're less likely to get acne or breakouts but I feel like it took me a while to notice that it wasn't like overnight I'm like oh my goodness I have 
you know, whatever, like great skin or whatever. But I did notice overnight how my hair like still stayed voluminous and it wasn't oily. Um, so therefore it allows me to not wash my hair as often. Um, it gives me like that time, that extra time for me to keep my hair curled and, and also it doesn't give you like a flat head. So whenever you sleep, usually because it's warm and you're creating that heat, um, on a regular cotton pillowcase, um, you're creating dents in your hair because it's warm. But if your pillow is cool and you're sleeping on it, I mean, you stay in one spot for a while, it stays cool. And so it's not going to create those dents in your hair. So that is really cool to me. I actually did a lot of research trying to find some decent pillowcases that were not expensive, that were machine washable, um, and that helped with whatever it is that silk pillowcases help you with. Um, and I found some really good ones on Amazon. I'll have links down below if you guys want the link for that. Also, a brand sent me a silk pillowcase uh, to try out. Honestly, there wasn't that much of a difference. Like, like, um, one of them was really expensive, the other one wasn't. I really like both. One of them has like a better material, obviously, because it's like better quality. But in the difference in my hair, I didn't really see a difference. So I would say stick with like the cheaper ones, but ones that actually are going to last through a machine wash. And these have already been tested. I've already washed them um, and I've already used them for like months and I really love them. So I'll have them down in the description box below. I forgot what I was gonna say. All right, so let's move on to hair products. So of course, if you already follow all those things, that's amazing, but uh, these are the hair products that actually help with styling my hair. So what I do is I shower every single day, full body shower, but I only wash my hair twice a week. In the shower, this is what I use. This is a Redken Color Extend Blondage Color Depositing Shampoo. And this is a purple shampoo that helps with the toning of my hair because I do have highlights. Um, so it's great for that and also it helps keep the color of your hair dyed longer. And I actually used to use the Joyco brand and it turned my hair green. Like I noticed that after a shower, instead of like lightening the brassiness in my hair, it looked like a yellow green color. And I don't know if it was expired. I don't know if I grabbed like the wrong bottle. I don't know what it was, but I immediately just threw it out. Like, and I was so sad because it was kind of pricey <laughs> and it was a big bottle. But then I switched to this and it just helped out so much better so I really like this one a lot um, and I do recommend it and then on my hair I also like to use this conditioner from Nexus by the way Nexus is such a great brand I've also used the other bottle I have it upstairs I should have brought it down but it's like a mint color and that one is so nice and moisturizing this is the Carafix damaging healer conditioner and your skin or not your skin your hair feels super super smooth um, after you are done with this it does have some protein um, and it's for severely damaged hair so highly recommended it says repair level right here it has a little scale and it's from one through five and it's five um, so it does have carotene protein and because I wash my hair twice a week um, I could use this twice a week I don't know if it's recommended to use every single day to be honest um, because it is such like a harsh treatment or not a harsh but it's a very like serious treatment um, but I use it twice a week and I really love it and then once I am done out of the shower if it is morning which is usually when I take a shower then I'll let my hair air dry I'll do my makeup get dressed do things around the house and then go back and do my hair so that way I don't have to blow dry my hair because I feel like it's already um i feel like i already styled my hair so much that i don't want to add more heat to it but if i am showering at night um i will most definitely blow dry my hair so that way i'm not sleeping with my hair wet and so when i do blow dry my hair i'll show you guys what i do because i have like a certain technique so that way i get volume but my hair isn't frizzy everywhere so this is my favorite brush ever it is from the brand Wet Brush. It is like super inexpensive. I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere. I think it was only like a few bucks, but it is such a great brush because whenever I have wet hair and I'm out of the shower, I always brush it so that way it can dry a little bit more straight. Um, and it doesn't like tear out my hair. I'm pretty sure it's called wet brush because it's meant for wet hair. And then whenever I blow dry my hair, I will go ahead and grab my blow dryer. This is one of my favorite ones. I have two. Um, this one is a T3 Cura Luxe 
hair blow dryer and this one is really cool honestly any blow dryer will do um, but the reason why I really like this one is because it has a sensor right here in the front and whenever you're blow drying your hair if you're styling it once you put it down on the counter without pressing any buttons it will pause for you and when you pick it back up because your hand is now on the sensor it'll turn back on so what I like to do is as my hair is wet I will just grab the roots of my hair and I'll lift it up so that way the top of my hair um, gets blow dried upwards so that way I get some volume on top but then when I get to the bottom sections of my hair I will take my brush and I will do this I don't want to brush my hair out but like I'll just blow dry it like this so that way it dries straight down and it's not super frizzy so that is my little technique and I feel like I get a lot of volume that way and when I get really into it I will give myself a blowout and it looks so good and it has to do with like that technique where like I'm putting my hair up as I'm blow drying it and before I blow dry my hair I do like to use some hair products so first off is this guy right here it is the aquage I hope I'm saying it correctly this is a silkening oil treatment and it's really really thick oil it will make your hair greasy if you add too much so what I will do is I will grab one pump of this and I will put it only on the bottom of my hair on the very ends because it is really thick and then on the rest of my hair I will use the Kenner Platinum blow dry spray and I will avoid putting it on the roots because anything that you put on the roots is going to make you look greasy and it's going to weigh down your hair so that's how I get more volume is by avoiding putting anything like on the roots of my hair but and this is by far the best thermal protectant spray that you will find Ulta had a sale recently it was like buy one get one half off and I ran and got two bottles because it's just you know it's kind of too much sometimes and so um, I really 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 love this if you're styling your hair if you're blow drying it if you're curling it use this it will not make your hair greasy um, and it will protect your hair and make it look so smooth and beautiful so highly recommend that um, so that is what I use and then whenever I am styling my hair whenever I'm putting curls in it this is my absolute favorite um, tool right here and it is also by T3 by the way this is not sponsored I wish it was T3 please sponsor me because I love your tools so much but this right here is the 1.25 inch barrel and what's really cool about these is that they can adapt to different barrels all you have to do is unlock it and then you take it out and then you can put on another barrel if you'd like this is the other one that i really like it is the one and a half inch barrel and this one is for like really really big waves if you want more of like v waves instead of the curls i love this and it's really good if you have long hair um but this is the one that i used for my curls that you guys see here what i like to do is i'll grab a piece of hair and i'll start in the middle and then i will start rolling it in like this by opening the clasp a little bit and it doesn't tug on your hair and it just does it so nice so highly recommend it love this I have a couple more products here that I want to share with you guys and I do recommend them if you're going to do like a blowout which like I said I don't do very often but when I do this is what I like um, this is the living proof restore smooth blowout concentrate this is really thick so I don't recommend using a lot of it it's a shining treatment and it helps not only like to protect your hair but it also like just makes it more like moisturizing and and it just helps blow dry your hair a lot faster so what I like to do is I'll grab a pump and I'll put it mostly on my ends and it just kind of it's a little bit thicker so it does help style your hair more and then this is another product that I also really like this is a Bumble and Bumble hairdressers invisible oil primer so this helps protect your hair um, it helps prime your hair but what I like about it is that it helps help your hair stay in place when you're blow drying it and when you're actually like using a brush to curl it because it does have a similar kind of texture at the end as like a light hairspray to hold your hair in place so it's a little bit sticky but it's not going to be sticky to the point where it's uncomfortable but it does like help it stay and it helps with flyaways um so i really really like this one and i've actually used the majority of it I got a little sample of it and it's already like down to here so I really do like that for that reason um, if I'm going to style my hair afterwards I don't use that product because I feel like then it's too almost too sticky for me to like uh, put more curls in it um, with a hair tool with like a hot tool 
or a curler. Um, so, but I do recommend it if you're just going to blow dry your hair. Um, hopefully this isn't too many hair products so you guys are on the same page with me. I'm just trying to show you guys different hairstyles and what I do. So another thing that I also like to use is the Kiehl's Smoothing Oil Infused Leave-In Concentrate. This is a product that I really, really love because after I'm done curling my hair and sometimes there's still some flyaways or some spots look dry or um, on the bottom I feel that it feels dry even though I use the other treatments and I want to smooth out my hair, I will use this. And a little bit goes a long way. I've had this for over two years and I'm like a little bit past halfway done. And I love this. It smells great. It moisturizes your hair. Um, it smooths it out. And it does not look greasy at all whatsoever. So you could add as much as you want. Now I want to talk to you guys about reconstructing your hair if you have really damaged hair. Um, those will help you out when it comes to styling your hair and washing your hair, but when it comes to like really repairing your hair, I highly recommend leave-in treatments throughout the day, like a leave-in hair conditioner or some kind of mask, so that way your hair gets a lot of moisture and it gets nourished throughout the day because those are like the ones that I feel like definitely made a huge difference in my journey on trying to repair my hair. So these are two that I really, really like. The first one is a Garnier Fructis Damage Erase Split In Bandage. It smells really good. Um, it's a great price and you could easily find it. And what I like to do is whenever I'm out of the shower, if it's like summertime, I'll grab a few pumps of this. I'll put it all over my hair and I will put it back in a bun and that way like I'm kind of ready for the day but I'm also nourishing my hair at the same time. Or I will put it in a side braid or two braids and I will put this in. And it also also kind of acts as like a hair gel so it keeps all the little flyaways in place and the last product that I want to share with you guys it is a bumble and bubble bond building styler and this is really really great especially if you want to style your hair with cute little waves what I have done recently is I'll put two French braids on my hair and then the next day I will go ahead and take them out and they give you these beautiful beautiful waves I've loved it and I have noticed that it works best when I use this right here I just feel like it makes it a lot more soft it holds it better in place and it also has like this really really pretty um, I don't want to call it glitter because it's not glitter um, but it I guess it's called mica and it's a specific type of um, ingredient that helps it like make it look really shiny so it's really really pretty I love it um, and that has been like my go-to hairstyle my heatless go-to hairstyle um, so that way I don't have to apply heat to my hair every single time and it will last for like days um, if you use this product so I really really like that that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will make sure to have a link down to everything that I talked about today in the description box below in case something caught your eye and you want to give it a try. And if you've made it this far into the video, please give it a big thumbs up because that means that you enjoyed it. Likes always help out my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so because I would love to have you as part of the family. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Which is besos. Mwah!